Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a two minute, well, I just want to show you how to make skin details super, super quick. So what I'm doing right here is I'm taking this uh, standard sphere, made it a poly mesh 3D, going to subdivide it enough to um, <clears throat> get all the information that we want to get, right? So I'm going to subdivide this up to... Yeah, we don't need 33 million. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use my standard brush, I'm going to put it on a spray, and then I'm going to use Alpha 7. Okay, we're going to let me show you what this does so you can see that, right? But it's pretty strong. All right, so we probably don't want it that strong. So what we'll do is we'll kick the intensity down to about six, is what I prefer. And you can just get your skin. Like that, right? So now what we need are those small little wrinkles, basically telling us where the skin folds. So, like whenever you smile, your wrinkles are going to be different, you know, around your mouth, and they will around, you know, the corners of your eyes. Like you know the uh, the way your skin moves and folds uh, whenever you talk or move or have an expression. It, it's basically like combing this into there right so i'm going to keep the um the spray brush but what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to alpha 58 and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in here and then paint the wrinkles the way that they are supposed to be going right and then alternating between alt and um you know so z add and z sub right You can see how we can start getting those wrinkles in there. And then after that, we can change this to drag rectangle. We can go back to alpha seven and we can go in here and start adding some, um, let's kick up the intensity a bit more. Start adding those little imperfections in the skin, right? And just do it tastefully. Um, there right there okay so we pretty much got our skin going and the last thing i like to do is go to my form soft brush and take this on a spray and um just go in here and make sure that this isn't um too perfectly round right because your skin's not going to be like that um and so you just Add that right there, right? So um, the next thing we can do if we really want to is we can go in here with the damp standard and we can start marking in uh, these shapes or wrinkles that we really like. And just go in there and emphasize this, right? So I want to make this really quick. Obviously, I would spend a very, very long amount of time on this. Uh, one more thing I want to, want to show you is directional pores, right? So, um, so the skin is going this way, right? So, um, whenever we're doing our, if you want to come in here and do pores by hand, which I definitely suggest you do, make sure you turn off your lazy mouse. Um, you want to have the wrinkles going in the direction, right, of the wrinkle. Right? And if you've ever studied pointillism or done pointillism, it is a art form in which all the images are created with little taps like this, right? And there's plenty of images. I've done them. It's very, very... Um, therapeutic but if you're not in the mood for it it's freaking maddening so definitely get in a zen state and then you can add um those wrinkles in there so you can even see how that little section that i added is really adding to the realism of all this right so um again let's go to the other side and we're gonna go through this one more time i'm gonna go to my damp standard i'm gonna go to spray i'm gonna choose alpha seven Gonna kick this down around six to um, six to twelve, whatever your preference is. Make sure we have a brush, 
And that's it, right? So we got our first pass on skin. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep that brush, but we're going to change it to alpha 58. And then we're going to start combing in. Um, sorry, I'm using Photoshop controls. Um, right. And then we're going to start combing in that wrinkle. Right. And then we're going to go alt. That's it, dude. I mean, with that, you can you can get pretty far. Um, also, and then we're going to do the drag rectangle with the alpha 7. And we're just going to add some little bit more surface noise, but it's, you know, control, not procedural. Um, go. And then the very last step, well, not the very last step, but um, and then we're going to go here with the damp standard. Mark in little wrinkles that we we want to emphasize. And just go in here by hand and, you know, we're not doing anything too precious, just a little example. Okay. So then after that, we go with BFS, make sure it's on um, spray. And then just go in here and make sure that the surface isn't perfectly round or any of that, right? Now, all this stuff is going to, is predicated on the fact that you've got all your forms down, right? So, um, you can put a bunch of skin detail all over some shitty ass model or <laughs> sculpt, and it's just going to be a bunch of really nice skin pores and wrinkles on top of a really shitty model, which you don't want, right? So this is like the very, very last thing that you would do on your sculpt. You know, you're like, okay, I'm done. All the forms are there. Everything's ready to go. Now I'm going to start doing skin. Okay. Now, if you have any other uh, questions or you have any other tutorials you would like me to do, please write them in the comments. Be more than happy to do anything that I know how to do. Um, I don't like to, you know, I like to stay in my lane. I like to talk about things that I know how to do. But um, yeah, if you have a question, please put it in the comments. I will do a short little video like this, and we'll just get that question answered. All right, my name is Spicer McLeroy. You can find me anywhere under Shotgun Scream. I need some Twitter friends. So if you can find me on Twitter under Shotgun Scream, that'd be awesome. And also, I badly need some subscriptions uh, on my YouTube. So you want to help brother out if this helped you at all if you had a laugh or you just made it this far into the video then yeah give me a like give me a give me a subscribe and definitely absolutely let me know what kind of tutorial you want from me in the future all right thanks again y'all have a great day